Everything looks gorgeous. All right, uh, now I think they're probably a couple minutes ahead of me. I could speed up, but I'm going to cast this like it's normal speed. And then maybe for the next one, we'll speed up so we can go back to back with Max and Yo games. But as I just said, I was really excited today to cast some ranked games to, to just break down some 1v1s that might not be as part of a show match, might not be as part of a tournament. Something that I really used to enjoy. Uh, as much as I love Age of Empires 2 and I love being try hard and I love uh, all these different things about this game and, and the amount of content I put out, I really do like variety. Uh, and I believe rated games uh, many times can give a lot of good variety. So we have Mr. Yo. Uh, Mr. Yo is playing as the Japanese. And then in the blue, we have the Max. Max is playing as the Vikings. Two solid sieves for this. Uh, and sieves that are, you know, there's pros and cons to either one. Some sieves are a little bit, uh, one sieve is a little bit stronger in one situation. One sieve is stronger in another. So uh, as far as their military options go, what tends to happen with both these sieves is they'll start with infantry and transition that into archers and skirmishers. Uh, Japanese do have bloodlines on their scouts, so they have an option to, to be a bit stronger in that area. But the norm is definitely to go man-at-arms on this map. And I think we could see that from Mr. Yo, who's Japanese, and will get the faster attacking man-at-arms. And then also Max, who is um, Vikings and has higher HP man-at-arms. So it's an interesting clash there. And then the Vikings get free wheelbarrow. I'd say in Feudal Age onwards is when they begin to really get strong. Uh, I'd say the Dark Age is, I mean, you could argue the Dark Age for Japanese is the best in the game. Uh, having cheap mining camps, cheap mills, and cheap lumber camps uh, gives them a lot of flexibility. And Mr. Yo is actually going to diversify his wood eco on a map which is really difficult uh, when it comes to wood. These acacia trees are tough. Uh, but I, I like that. He, he's just invested into two lumber camps, which cost the same as uh, Max's lumber camp that he built at home. Um, so in terms of starting resources, you have one elephant. You have normal amount of goats. Um, and then you have your berries. And then two shorefish. So I'd be very surprised if Max and Yo don't take advantage of this. Uh, having the shorefish next to each other is very nice. I'd say about 50% of the time... One player is going to get two shorefish next to each other, and the other player is going to get a shorefish here and a shorefish, like, I don't know, over here, or, yeah, it's just going to be separated. So it's actually quite nice uh, for Max. However, what's weird is I don't think you can build on this. So he'd have to build the mill here. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah, that, that's just one of the many... It's an additional awkward thing about the map, uh, how you can't build on some of the terrain. It makes it so difficult, but for high-level players, it can be very fun to watch. Look at this! This is the perfect... This is the perfect game to show you the amazing flexibility of the Japanese. Because with any other civilization, the wood would be more awkward, and then the shorefish situation would be more awkward. But Yo has built two mills and two lumber camps, cost the exact same as Max, who has built one lumber camp and one mill. That's beautiful. And now I could build another mill. I love this. This is so cool to see from Mr. Yo. Like, all of his economy is going to be so much more uh, so much more fluid, so much more efficient because of this. I remember it was the norm back in, uh, I want to say, 2015 for a lot of the Chinese high-level players when picking Japanese to build two lumber camps at the start and even build two mills in some situations like... One mill on deer, one mill on berries, really early. Uh, there are ostrich arounds, so there's three ostrich there. I believe you guys saw Max push in some of his. In fact, he pushed in all three for food. Just want to see if Max sees the shorefish he does. Uh, I'd be very surprised if we don't see a barracks for both players. Barracks there, and a barracks there for Mr. Yo. Or, yeah, 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 Mr. Yo. Um, they'll be going for man-at-arms and archers, definitely. Yeah, this is a treat, too, because we see the flexibility of the Japanese. Also, we don't see the Max play in ranked games too much. Trees deserve our love and support. They are straggling after all. <laughs> Mechanical Unicorn, thank you. Nah, I don't know who it was, but I've had quite a few comments on my YouTube channel. Of people saying, T90, can you cast more Max games? And the issue is he just doesn't play a lot of ranked 1v1s. So, while he has played in a lot of tournaments, and he became very, very well-known. I mean, he was well-known before Hidden Cup 2, but Hidden Cup 2's performance really made him stand out to a lot of people. Uh, this is the first time I have casted a ranked 1v1 from the max in probably months. 
I can't even tell you the last time. I hope Mr. Yo builds a mill out here just so uh, he'll have built four mills in Dark Age. <laughs> might, might be a bit excessive because he's going to want the wood for an archer range. You don't want to go too crazy with it. Look at Mr. Yo's scouting. He's arriving to Max's base. Yeah, this this game, this stream is sponsored by Miller Lite. Okay, look at the mini-map. Do you see how there's that X there? If you scout your enemy barracks, and you select it, this is actually for all military buildings. Uh, and there's a gather point set. You can see the gather point in the mini-map. So I can guarantee you, yo, scouted the barracks, clicked the barracks, and then saw that the gather point was set forward for Max, and unfortunately ran into the militia. But he, it was really important that he would know where Max's militia would be. So, higher HP militia, uh, soon to be man at arms, and then it's up against the faster attacking. Would be four man at arms for Yo. However, this is such a good start for Max. Hitting Feudal Age faster just because of the deer pushing is so good. He weakens that scout, and it forces Mr. Yo to try and. Um... Actually, Mr. Yo decided not to make the fourth one, okay. But it definitely puts Mr. Yo in a defensive position. He's actually going to go immediately into two ranges, which is very uncommon. Oh, okay. Where is my cookie? Okay, he's going for a blacksmith. That way he could maybe afford fast fletching. Now, if you get fast fletching, that means you can't get double bit axe. You see how he, he clicked double bit axe, and then he thought twice about it. Fast fletching is not very common, I'll tell you guys that much. Normally, it's all about the economy upgrades. So the mid-game economy for Vikings, because of free wheelbarrow, is better than Japanese. However, because of Mr. Yo's Dark Age investment, and that's a really poor micro from Yo, I have to say. This is this is so good for the max. Look at this. Having the scout here, oh, it's perfect. See how, what Mr. Yo can do here. But because of the Dark Age investment into the lumber camps and mills, it's actually uh, quite nice for Yo in a lot of ways. He's got to be really careful here, though. And this is exactly what the Max would have wanted. Eco is protected. A one archer coming forward. And if he sits that archer behind the palisade walls, which have now been overchopped, that villager's not going to be able to repair like that. Now that that is a full HP scout, which can kill a single archer. So Yo can't this is this at a high level, this could be GG. And newsflash, this is a high level. That villager goes down, this archer is going to go down, this villager should die as long as Max focuses on him, or not. I expected at least two villagers to die there, and I expected Mr. Yo to maybe lose more, or at least lose HP, but uh, Max, I think like, in these moments is when the player's at home focusing on their eco. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. So he will have fletching in a moment, and Yo is adding a stable. What's interesting about him adding the stable, he's showing the stable. He's not hiding the stable back here, so he's going to show the max what's up. I think we're going to see a lot of feudal age aggression in this game. Uh, fletching will be faster for Yo, and uh, these infantry units are quite weak. So I think Max is probably going to toss them in to try and get some, some reward. If he can get a kill, it'd be beautiful. And Mr. Yo just runs around, actually, and he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, no Bidax yet. Really think he's got to get that Bidax upgrade. And he's completely finished with the Ostrich there. I don't know if he's going to have the amount of farms he needs to get heavy scout production going, but um, looks like he's able to do it so far. He sends this very weak scout, which he's had forward. I don't know if he's scouting with it or auto-scouting. It looks like he's sending it forward. Like, even at my level, I might auto-scout that. But, like, at the tippity-top, players will still try and scout with it. I just don't have faith in my ability to, to not lose that sometimes. I'll just send the other scouts forward. Alright, Max. Making archers. So, you have archers in there. It's great against the scouts. However, if there's skirms with armor, it can be very difficult for those archers. So, Max is actually opting to go for some towers, which I think is a good move. And he has his own stable, yeah. So he's going to have range units of his own. And he's going to have scouts. I think Max has just got to be patient here. He's got to get his his uh, army to a safe position. This is not what I would consider safe, but he's getting there towards the tower. I 
Yeah, so if you compare the armies, while Yo's Skirmisher Archer army is good against the Archers of Mavs, having Skirmishers in there does leave you a lot more vulnerable to scouts. So I would prefer to have Max's position, as far as the armies go. However, the positioning of the armies is very important. Uh, Yo being forward now gives him an opportunity to do so much at home. Notice how the players won't even, they're not even attempting to go for crazy walls. And, and Max is over here trying to scout what Yo's up to. And Yo spotted that with the full HP scout. I was going to chase that down. So now if you're in Yo's position, it, it's kind of no, hard to know what to do. You see the score, so you know the eco is good. Okay, now you see your enemy has scouts. You also see that there's something in this range. You just don't know how, know how much. And I think the clear thing after scouting that is you've got to back up. He's got to get double bit axe though. Double bit axe is such an important eco upgrade. And if you don't get it at this stage of the game, I believe he might have just forgotten. Because he skipped bit axe so he could get fletching and armor real early. Fletching's 100 food, bit axe is 100 food. Makes sense. What a close game here. Just remember Vikings, free wheel barrel. That's a huge upgrade. Uh, and on Kilimanjaro, it's all about wood control normally. So he does have the tower there. Both players are going to need to push up this hill. Notice how Yo's not doing that, though. He's taking that back area. What I do like about Yo's current position is that he's making Max show himself. So he's in a position where he can run away. And now he's just thinking, well, if I run back to my base and play defensive, he could arrive to an area of my base I don't have locked down and protected right now. So the best thing I can do is to attack this archery range and force Max to fight me. Force Max to come out. And there is the Max with five scouts that will have scale barding armor. So that's an upgrade that Yo's going to get. Remember, Yo does get bloodlines, which is additional HP on the scouts. And Max, that was a great job from him, actually. He looped around to the hill. And now bloodlines is on the way. So this is the, the big thing as far as military goes that separates the civilizations. Both get Arbalest. Both get Elite Skirm. Uh, but when it comes to stable units, Vikings do not get bloodlines. However, Max has full HP scouts. So it's still very much going to depend on micro. As I say that, Yo, miss micros. I think Yo could be in big trouble here. Max has, he has full HP scouts. He has a lot of archers mixed in there. We're going to look at the scout numbers first. Remember, bloodlines was in. That's expensive. And I don't think it's going to matter at all. And if there's scouts remaining for Max, Max will clear up the skirms. Uh, in the end, he didn't focus down those archers. I think that was a mistake, and he will lose the scout. And okay, you know what? It was quite even after all. Uh, Yo did have to invest into the Bloodlines upgrade. He's going to stone similar to what Max has done. And now these uh, archers have got to get out of here. Okay, and actually, Mr. Yo makes a different decision, and I, I see this a lot. I think he did this because he knew he would lose units as he was trying to flee. I don't like it, though. I don't like how Max uh, decided to go in here. He's losing archers anyways, and uh, yeah, that was, that was a bad move for Max. I think it was better to try and run away there. Wait for a scout or two, sure, but uh, definitely don't want your archers around there. Okay, Castle H on the way for the Max. I think he'll be happy with, with how everything went except for that instance right there. And he's going to go for three ranges. So this is probably going to be full crossbow production. He does know there's some skirms out there, but there's not many. It was mainly archers for Yo. I wonder what Yo is going to do. Now, if Yo is thinking about like taking advantage of his stables and the possibility there... It's going to be really awkward for him because he's not going to be able to make any of those units until he's in Castle Age, and Max is going to be in Castle Age faster with more momentum. I, I love how, it, just the small things, Max is going to come in here with two scouts. The scouts could easily snipe villagers. Also, Max has one on stone. He doesn't need more than one on stone. He just needs enough stone to bring in a few towers here or there and for an eventual TC. So Max has calculated this so well with his eco. But Mr. Yo is defending very well, even confident enough to fight with villagers. Now he remembers Bidax. Alright, Max. Best thing he can do is keep Yo inside of his base for as long as possible. 
And also, if Max sees this scout receives forging, because he, he will be clicking this scout to check upgrades, he'll know that it might be a second stable for Yo, and that is going to be the case. So what Yo wants to do is elite skirm and knights, something that makes a lot of sense if you have the few late skirms massed. He does not have that right now. That's going to be quite a few archers. And now handcart comes in. Vikings are such a sick civilization. I don't know if Max is aware of what Yo is going for, what he's committing for just yet. But he's certainly got to take the initiative here. Okay. The other thing about going Japanese Knights, and I've talked about it before, I remember when they got Bloodlines, everyone was like, well, well, they get Bloodlines now, that was a weak point, and, um... Well, yeah, I'm not gonna... I have a lot of opinions on that subject. It really bothered me back then, because I, I still didn't feel like Japanese really improved that much just getting bloodlines, because in the Imperial Age, while they get Cavalier, they don't get plate barding armor, which makes them really bad. Whereas, you look at Max, he's making a unit that works for him long-term. He has all that momentum. Um, so, Yo's gotta make his army choice count. Oh, God! Oh, God, man! Yeah, I mean... He just canceled the crossbow upgrade, so screw it. Whatever. But yeah, Yo's gotta make whatever he commits to count, and it's gonna be knights. I'd love to have Max's position right now. What's a good way to secure wood on this map other than TC's? Uh, towers. Yeah, you can, if you get to the corners, that's where there's flat ground, so you could go here for a TC on wood. Um, I mean, there's gold there as well, right? But that's where you're going to want to expand with TCs. Kind of like what Yo's doing. But the downside of that is you give up the all-important middle. Yo has a lead skirm with armor. Uh, and Bodkin. That's not cheap. But, uh, again, I think he's, he's missing out on eco upgrades. It's all about eco with Vikings. There's a TC for Max. Max has been on one TC, and uh, he did get the ballistics upgrade. He has a lot of units here. That's very difficult for crossbows to fight skirmishers with full armor and full attack, but that is only if the skirm numbers are there. So I think in this instance, first off, it's very easy for Max to make a single knight. But I think Max with the hill and ballistics will choose to fight this one. Yo's just going to hope he can catch this army out. Sorry guys, the people who are arriving to the stream, I'm very focused on this game. I said I was very hyped for uh, to get back into casting ranked games again, and it's just it's just a fine mix of high level play and and uh, and casual at the same time. I guess you could say. I don't know. I'm just really in the mood for this right now. Notice me, T90. What would make you think this is a best of five? <laughs> You've been here since the start of the stream. I explained it. I mean, that'd be cool, I guess. It's literally my point. <laughs> Everything doesn't have to be a best of five, best of this, best of that, prize pool this, prize pool that, and I'm enjoying it right now. Uh, so I wonder how this is going to work out. Chain barding is going to be in. I think this is going to be good for Max. It goes and kill the skirm. I, I, I guess I would have shot, finished off the skirmisher first, but you notice how crossbows with ballistics in this mass. Devastating. All right. Again, you have more crossbows coming in for the max. Playing very clean right now. And if your opponent does not have many knights remaining, and they're they're relying on skirmishers against your crossbows, it's where you start adding Maganels. This is beautiful play from Max. I lo I've loved this game so far. I you had the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, the pros and cons of going for various units, but Yo is falling behind big time. Like the eco numbers says Yo is ahead, but how much does that matter when he doesn't have it as good of an uh, economy in terms of upgrades? And how much does that matter when he doesn't have momentum? I'm not saying Knights was a bad move in this situation. I think he felt like he had to do it because of what happened in Feudal Age. But Knights with Japanese? Very much an overrated move in my opinion, at least at the highest level. Only makes a lot of sense if your opponent's committing to a lot of skirmishers. 
Oh, and then the stables are going to go down here as well. Uh, just to check Max's eco. Two TCs probably thinking about a forward castle at this rate. Oh, no. That's actually Yo that has the stone. Oh, is Yo going to go for some crazy... Like, he feels like he's dead, right? Is he going to go for some crazy counter castle drop? What if he defends with siege and go... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So, can Max stop this? This is brilliant from Yo, because if he keeps doing what he's doing at home, he's going to lose. If he goes forward to drop a castle on this hill, uh, he could win it. Still has to deal with all of this, of course. Uh, that TC probably won't stay up for very long if it even goes up. Max has to abandon the all-important hill on Kilimanjaro. I like it. That was a YOLO play from Yo. Uh, TC denied at 96%. Thanks, Dale. Okay, so there's there's two different approaches here. First off, as I've already explained, knights, you've got to make it work. But also, knights cost food and gold. Very expensive. Whereas making crossbow saves you food. And Max has had more on food anyways. So I think Max, after seeing this forward castle, is going to immediately shift into wanting to go to the Imperial Age. And upgrading these units. Uh, drop his own castle here or here or somewhere defensive in front of his res. Make trebuchets, and then tread the castle down, and then win. Yo can't allow that to happen. And I guarantee you that no, Yo knows that that's going to happen. It's it's something Vikings are extremely good at with their eco. So, Yo's got to start... First off, he's got to take a good engagement against this, which is going to be so tough. Oh, wait a second. It might not be so tough if he's able to take out the Maganels. But I think he's also got to do more here, and he looks like... He wants to go guard tower with Japanese. Alright, one Maganel goes down. The other one will stand. Uh, good hits for Yo so far. Imp is on the way for Max. It might even be better for Max to just run with this army. Oh, you know what? This actually this could be really good for Yo. It's his comeback time here. I think these crossbows are all going to be chased down. But, but what does Yo do over here? I think he's got a raid with knights. Okay, as I say that, as Max moves away, it's very possible for him to maybe have a knight or two come this direction and clear up the skirm. So Yo's got to track that. While also, okay, dropping another castle. This also could be Yo trying to buy himself time. Uh-oh, uh oh no, Yo! Yeah, Yo, uh, this was a risk. He doesn't have military here. I think this castle will be denied. And Max actually falls back to his TC. He's going to kill quite a few knights, but he's losing those crossbows. Two YOLO from Yo. Hi, T90. I want this to be a best of five because I want more Max games. <laughs> Force them to keep playing. Force them? They're not our circus monkeys to do what we want. What do you think pro players are? Notice me, T90. Dance, monkey, dance. That's... Come on. No, I hope they play more. We'll see. Maybe if... Uh, maybe if... I mean, Yo's gonna play more. Max, I'm not sure how active he's he's uh, been. Max is actually hiding the crossbows inside that TC. How much military does he have right now? 16. It's not... There's still a lot that Yo's gonna have to deal with to survive here. But it wouldn't be totally unheard of for Yo to be able to defend this. He's got a T... Oh, wow. I don't know how he could fit a TC over there. Oh, God! No! Another one! Another one! And this is where the army is, of course. Yo is gonna send everything he can to try and finish this because he knows how important Max's gold eco is to him. I think Max could just hop out the left side of the TC right now if he wants to try and stop that. Yo's gotta just send the rest of the Vils... The TC is denying the castle. And there will be more army on this left side for Max we have to pay attention to. That's four knights. Bracers just completed. I think Max could still deny that easily. But he's got to deal with this as Yo has built one guard tower. He's going to build another one, I'm sure. And Max will actually abandon this. Wow, Yo is holding on. I... How many people with the show of ones kind of felt like he was dead? Despite the counter, 
How many people felt like it was going to be too tough for him against the ARBs? I did. If I could type a one in the chat right now, I would. Mr. Yo is just so beastly when it comes to towers. And now he has three TCs. His eco is untouched, and he could just build a guard tower here, guard tower here. But really what you're going to need to see from Max is he's building TCs in this back corner. Is he's going to need some siege. Will take this castle out, but Yo's still buying himself so much time. And then he's, he might need rams, he might need a lot, and, and Max comes over this way to stop this guard tower. Uh, something he should do, uh, Yo might lose all of these villagers if he doesn't react. One villa down, two villas down, three, and then four. So many doubt buildings, so many doubt towers, and now villagers are being lost for Max. The longer this game goes, I, Yo just needs to get his wood upgrades, man. Needs to get his wood upgrades. But the longer this game goes, the worse the Viking eco looks. Because all that uh, Yo needs to do to have an e even eco is get handcart. Right? So if he gets handcart bidax, their eco is going to be even. The fact that Vikings got all those free eco upgrades is not really a huge deal. Let's talk about gold. Max doesn't see this gold. That is really unfortunate. He does not see that gold somehow. Uh, does see this gold, so he can take that. Obviously knows about this one. Yo's on it. Has gold and stone over on this side, too. 33 on food versus 31 on food, but 30, 30 plus on food when you're making archers and skirms is decent. And we're going to see Yo stop making knights and, and switch into ranged units. Very, very alert stuff from both players. If Max knows exactly where he needs to go for resources to expand, Yo knows exactly where Max might expand, and now Yo is on the way up. I have to say, very impressive from Mr. Yo. It is still going to be difficult because there's quite a few trebs out for Yo, or uh, for Max, excuse me, to clear up the towers, and also capped Ram now. So there could be a big Ram push on the left side, possibly. Max knows how important that hill is going to be, and uh, Max isn't even trying for a big push right now because he realizes that Yo's going to be able to stabilize and hold. Instead, what Max is looking to do is get as much map control as possible as this goes towards him. Really nice stuff. Alright, so if you, if someone's making skirms to counter you, with some civilizations, the best thing to do, if you don't have the food eco to go berserks, for example, is just make your own skirms to match it. Yes, you could say, and, and with other civilizations, you can make light cav, but too expensive for like, crappy upgrades, I think, with Vikings. Probably also want to save the food for siege ram. Berserks could be good. Not so good if Japanese go samurai, so that'll be fun to watch. Uh, yo, back over here. Actually sent in a samurai. I don't know if that was intentional or what. But Yo's fighting with Castle Age upgrades, so... A Max now will build another castle. This one forward and on the hill. What are we looking at with relics? One to one with relics. Oh, that's so unfortunate that Max can't see that gold. He doesn't have huge gold problems, but still. I, I'm just surprised that Mr. Yo held on this long. Very impressed with that. Especially because he doesn't have bid axe. Does have a uh, handcart now. And Max's military numbers are going to be tough to deal with, though. He has 63 military. Uh, yo, uh, I, I think he didn't realize how much military Max was going to have here. Because if he knew, I think this would have been an awful fight for him to take. He's actually going for Onager right now. At a high level, Onager is a desperation move. I think you feel like you have a 10% chance if you go for Onager because players are so good at microing around or away from Onagers. Supplies for Max! Supplies! So I think he wants to go champion instead of Berserks. Uh, a certain longtime subscriber of mine, not going to say any names here, but huge Berserk fan, uh, was upset last month about the fact that Vikings have supplies because he feels like no one will ever go for Berserks because of that. Because it makes the, the champion switch a much better play. Well, certainly a Max isn't going to be upset about that because it helps him right now. Great eco, great military. You've just got to use it, Max. Japanese are just extremely good at stalling the games out and, and going for Onager is a great way to stall the game out as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, if Max snags this relic, that'd be nice. He's got this one here. You gotta assume that eventually his villagers are gonna chop this tree. And then maybe he will spot the golds. Hey, okay, here's Onager. This will be the first time that Max will see Onager, though. I don't think he's aware of this. If he was aware, he'd be paying close attention. And he'll look to pack up that treb, a treb that he might save. It's going to be very close. Um, I think the treb will go down. And now, uh, not really a panic cat. No, you could consider this a panic castle. He just does not want Yo to get into the back of that eco. Yo is on the way to do that, and I think that castle is going to go up. Just well calculated from the max as he's pushing the other side. Oh, this is dangerous for Yo. The knights, as I said, do nothing for Japanese in the Imperial Age. That TC is going down. There's farm space here. The relics could be taken. The castle could go down. And this is all before Max adds champions. What a game. Yeah, and, and now Max just has to hold this side, which I'm sure he's able to do, and just decimate the other side. And like I said, Onagers, once you know they're there, pro players can use Arbalest against them. Beautiful micro from Max. Hank, as much as I love the fact that Yo has been able to hold on here, and I'm very impressed by it, I think... I, I don't see how he can win this game right now. Max is playing too good. I'm going to gift you a short shirt sponsored by a Korean pop band. What? Thank you. Castle crashes to the grounds. Uh, that also houses Mr. Yo. So he's got to add some houses now. Onager and Skirmisher is very, very slow. The champion switch, as if it's even needed here, is probably going to win the game. Because the second fully upgraded champions arrive here, Skirmishers don't stand a chance. And then I think Yo uh, realizes, well, I'm dead. For now, he's thinking he can maybe add Light Cav with Skirms, which is a good move. Champion completely counters that. I like how Max doesn't hesitate either. He's taking his good old time because he knows he's got the control on the other sides. We'll even treb this down, I'm sure. And here, here it comes. Now, Yo could land a big attack grounds. Just seeing that, though, is going to be so disappointing to him. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Max will lose those trebs. Well, that's one treb came in clutch there, didn't it? Yeah, look what these champions can do. More HP. And Mr. Yo calls the GG. That was a quality game, my friends. That was so cool. Vikings are just... It's so crazy because if you played the game many, many years ago... Or you just looked at the tech tree, you would think Vikings are not going to be as dominant on land as they could be on water. But Vikings are a top five land save, in my opinion. Now, there's some situations where they're not, like Black Forest 1v1. Sorry, Fat Sod. Truly, they're not. Uh, but on open lands maps, their economy is amazing. And uh, that, combined with the early bonuses with the Man at Arms, um, combined with Sea Dram and Champion. All these things play out quite nicely in 1v1s. And then, if you're up against a Civ, which can make strong calf, like, let's say Franks. Vikings versus Franks is a fun matchup. Uh, you get Chieftains now. And uh, Chieftains gives you additional attack, your infantry and additional attack versus calf. So, you have the answers to Archers. You have the answers to calf. The only thing you wouldn't really have an answer to with Vikings is Heavy, Heavy Siege, which, like a Civ like Celts, can give them problems. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Max played this perfectly. I really loved how he was able to expand his eco. And I loved how we saw kind of the downside, I suppose, of losing the first fight. Because Max could do whatever he wanted after that. Uh, and then also, I think we saw the downside of going into Japanese Knights. It's situational. It depends, like everything. But um, Gyo probably only did it because he had already invested so heavily into the stable units. And he lost his ranged units. Uh, had he not lost the range units, maybe he would have stuck with range. Even KD, Max had 30 more military, and you look at the economy, Max had more food, more wood, more stone, and more gold collected. It, it wasn't that crazy. Uh, the gold certainly made a difference, but I think that this gold count was only higher for Max because of the lead that he gained himself, if that makes sense. More of the map was explored by the Max. It was a faster feudal, faster castle, faster imp for the Max. He was just slightly better with every statistic. 
Really enjoy your YouTube. Channel. Had two relics and then could have stolen two from Yo uh, once that monastery was destroyed. Would have been four to one there. Uh, guys, Max doesn't play rated games a lot, but he's a beast. I hope he's going to play more. I know Notice Me T90 wants more too. <laughs> I do as well. I just. Um, I also. There's something about rated games which are.